this video, we're gonna tattoo all the food on the table and see which is the best for you. Okay guys, we got everything set up. Let's throw on some gloves and tattoo some fruit. All right, we're gonna start off with a nine round liner, Cheyenne. All right guys, let's take our banana. Peel one off. All right, here we got a feather. I'm gonna lay some stencil stuff onto the banana and see if this will stick. Let's see. Puts the lotion on the skin. I really have no idea what's gonna happen here. I have never put a stencil on a piece of fruit. And I've never rubbed the banana like this, so let's see what the hell happens. Moment of truth. I guess this is good practice for putting on a stencil. And there we have it. Okay, it's not perfect. But we do have a stencil on a banana. I guess that's something. Here we go. We're going off a chat to the banana. See what happens. There's a weird sound, a weird feeling when you're tattooing fruit. You don't have to stretch the skin or anything, and it, it, it's okay. Let's keep going. Okay, um, I realized wiping with a stencil on a banana is uh, a little bit harder than I thought. So I just simply lined it, didn't really wipe at all. It, it's practice, so I'm really not too worried about it, okay? This is just so you guys can practice. But let's see what happened, all right? Well, there you go, guys. That's tattooing a banana. Not too bad, pretty straightforward, comfortable. You're moving in pretty much one direction, up and down the banana. It stays pretty flat. Something decent to get used to, a flat surface, and something kind of elongated, if you will. If you put a circular stencil or draw something circular on here, it'll probably be a little more difficult to try to get that banana where you want it while you're tattooing each one of those things. So something to keep in mind. But so far, I, I had a great time tattooing the banana. Is this still edible? Can I eat this banana? Let's see. Oh, oh, look at that. Ah, feel it, feel it. Ah, ah. There's our tattoo. If you are penetrating through this banana, okay, if you're coming in contact and you actually see ink in the banana or on the back side of this, if it's thick, then you're going too deep, way too deep. So that's banana. Let's move on to the next one. Next up. Grapefruit. This I've actually tattooed once or twice. I think this in an orange. I don't remember. It was quite a long time ago. So this will be interesting. Let's lather this thing down with some, some more stencil stuff. We'll rub it down. Stenciling a grapefruit. This is where this is where it is. Stenciling a grapefruit. Oh god. Push down, hold it for a little while. Ta-da! 
Admittedly, this isn't the greatest stencil, but really it's there. I can see it. We should be able to tattoo this. I'm not gonna wipe or do anything like that, so we're just gonna see what happens after it's done. I'm gonna stick with the nine round liner. It might be also might be a good idea to let your stencil dry for a little while before moving on, before tattooing it, before putting AD on it, all that stuff. Let it dry. In this case, I want to just go at it immediately. So far, so good. It's feeling pretty comfortable, okay? This is where we're at so far. We're moving. I'm not sure if the a and is helping, but I'm putting it on anyhow because it just feels natural. Okay, there's our candle. Let's clean it off. Okay, as you can see, we have our candle. That's pretty comfortable. It wasn't too bad to tattoo. When you're tattooing lines and these simple stuff, grapefruit, not a bad choice. Let's peel this open and see what it looks like underneath. This is the perfect use for a grapefruit because who eats grapefruit anyhow? Okay, there's our tattoo. Here's our grapefruit. I can't tell if this black is from my ink. Yeah, that's probably what it's from. Okay, ink on my hand. Let's flip it over. Again, nothing through. This is a pretty thick skin, so if you're tattooing through this skin your needles hung out way too far you need to pull the needle back possibly slow your hand speed down possibly slow the machine down i'm running at about 7.8 volts right now and this is on fruit next you should all have one of these around the apple one a day will not keep the doctor away let's do the same thing again lather it down with a little bit of stencil stuff and slap a stencil on there and for the lovely apple, we have a simple rosebud or whatever. So let's stick it on there and hope for the best. Will an apple take a stencil? I don't know. So far, so good. The nice part is, is none of this fruit has complained about stencil placement yet. So that's been nice. There's our stencil. It's not the greatest at this point. You can't really see all of it right now, but uh, being that it's simple enough, I think we got enough to follow and make some sort of flower tattoo. A little bit of A and D. Don't know if it does anything, but we're keeping it consistent to how we tattoo. And I got my little thingy here, my little stencil, so I can see half ass what I'm doing. I don't know that apples are meant to be tattooed. You got, they ain't got thick skin.
Okay. If you have an apple and that's like the only piece of fruit you have, go ahead, I guess, at this point. Because that was just weird. It definitely felt different. I think it has something to do with the skin or whatnot. But nonetheless, you can still tattoo an apple. The stencil didn't stick on nearly as well. I believe that's because the skin on this is just so smooth. It's just, it's really smooth. So when you're trying to put a stencil on there, I mean, yes, it'll stick to that stencil stuff, but it's very temporary. You brush it, breathe on it, it might just blow away. So, next up, cantaloupe. Um, at first uh, appearance, I don't think that the cantaloupe's gonna make the cut. If I walk into a grocery store looking for something tattoo, I really don't think the cantaloupe's gonna be high on my list. However, if you have a cantaloupe in your house and you're dead set to tattoo, let's see what happens. I have never tattooed a cantaloupe. Heck, I've not tattooed most of this fruit before. Okay, for this one, we are gonna do this shark. I hope we get through it because this is looking pretty rough. This very textured, cantaloupe so i'm gonna rub some stencil stuff on the cantaloupe and see what happens there we go it feels like dry skin it feels like this thing is soaking up the stencil stuff so i don't know if that's a good thing or not oh god okay i'm pu okay all right, I think we found our first true dud. It doesn't mean you can't tattoo this. Um, I'm just gonna freestyle it a little bit, pretty much just tattoo, see what it feels like, because you don't have to put a stencil on something to tattoo it, obviously. Especially when you're packing food, you just wanna pull lines or do different things or shade or blah, 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 whatever. I'm gonna see if this will, if we can even tattoo. Let's just see if we can tattoo this thing. Let's just see what happens, all right. Okay, machine's running. Let's pull a line or two. I. I'm gonna make several lines and I'll talk about it here in a second. So let me make a few more lines and just kind of feel, feel this thing out. Okay, to be quite honest, I really don't think we have to go much further. I'm gonna wipe this off, these two lines, and see what we got. The Epic 2 lines actually aren't too bad as far as the way they look when you wipe them off. I can see the two lines, they're there. But tattooing this is like tattooing like a minefield. It's just up, you just never know when something's gonna happen and it's gonna go boom. And your needle's gonna drop into a pit or come up or, but for practicing, I, I don't even wanna tattoo this anymore. I, I don't even wanna go any further. I did this, you can see it. If you're desperate, then go ahead and tattoo your um, cantaloupe, but if not, go find something else. So with that being said, next. Here we go, stencils on there. Let's peel it off and see what we got. Oh, hey, that's not bad. Out of all the stencils, this one seems to have gone on the best. It might be because it's a little bit larger, the skin is smoother, but it took the stencil really nice. The skin on this is light, so I can see the stencil. So this is looking pretty promising. So let's get to it, see what happens.
Okay, so I didn't wipe the entire time I was going. A little weird, uh, but let's see how that looks now. All right, guys, so there's our honeydew. There's our flower. Um, this wasn't that bad. So with that being said, good time. Let's move on to the next one. Next, oranges. Let's get a stencil on here and see what happens. All right, we are going to reuse our same stencil from before, this little candle burning. And let's set that on there. And... Okay, so there we have it, our orange with a stencil on it. It's, um, it's somewhat legible. It's not great, but it it's legible. I could tattoo this. And if you took a little bit more time, you might be able to get that to stick a little bit better. So nonetheless, let's tattoo it, see how it feels, see what's going on. Okay, so let's get it wiped down and see what this one looks like. Okay, and as you can see, here's our orange. I did a couple things here differently. Uh, I went really fast in some places so you can see what it will look like if you don't get proper penetration, if you're moving too quickly, uh, a lot of different variations. So you can figure that out by looking at your orange skin or any of the skin but in this case it's quite obvious you can see where the ink didn't quite go in so i didn't have enough ink in the needle cartridge or i was moving my hand too fast both are very possible for whatever reason the orange allows you to move the smoothest i think you for some reason the needle just really just wants to run and that's kind of nice that it is pretty similar to skin in a lot of ways so for that purpose the orange is pretty nice to have around all right let's peel it open and see what it looks like underneath okay this orange appears to still be edible so that's cool you can tattoo your orange and eat it too or you can tat your orange and have it too i don't know anyhow there we go orange next watermelon let's see what happens tattooing a watermelon if it's a watermelon does that mean it's gonna cry more does that make sense no Okay, here we go. We have our watermelon and now we're going to this guy right here um, Let's keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. So let's get some stencil stuff on there rub the melon down <laughs> and Put our stencil on here. We go Now this has got some smooth skin kind of like the apple so I don't know This will be interesting Maybe everybody's gonna start buying watermelon Will that be the new thing? I highly doubt it, but we'll find out. Here comes our stencil. Well, I will say our stencil looks pretty good. I feel like this is going to be kind of like the apple where if I breathe on it, it might just go away. So again, I'm gonna attempt to line this without doing any wiping and good God, let's see what the heck happens. My expectations are low.
the skin is obviously quite tough. Um, we'll see what happens. Here we go. Oh, is that an ear or something? No, oh, can't tell what that is. I'm tattooing it. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop here. The watermelon is really difficult to tattoo. It bounces, the needles are jumping in there and I really don't think it's doing my machine or anybody any any favors running this, okay? It's important also to let your stencil kind of dry on there so you don't lose it later on. Uh, that can help, but nonetheless, I don't think the watermelon, quite obviously, is your best choice to learn to practice tattooing or just to practice or, or, or whatever. So, I'm gonna wipe it off anyhow. We'll take a look at what we got. Um, so, let's do it. so, what we have is what looks to be a panther missing quite a bit of his face, or her face, really. Nonetheless, if you have a watermelon and you have to practice and you, it's all you got, then go ahead, but think about the machine you're using. Uh, is it really great? Is it your favorite? Yada, yada. Don't ruin good stuff, all right? Nonetheless, that's the watermelon. The honeydew is definitely gonna be your best for practicing. The reason why I say that is yes, the smaller fruits are good as well if you have those, but the honeydew is a little bit larger. So you can put a bigger piece on there. You can practice more. You can move this around. You have all the surface area. Definitely recommend the honeydew along with the banana, the grapefruit, and the orange. And uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys have tattooed. Have you done any of these? Do you totally hate this for other things? Do you love the watermelon? I highly doubt it, but let me know below, okay? So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button, hit the bell so you get notifications when I post, and consider subscribing. It really does help the channel out if you're enjoying this content. So until next time, guys, peace.